It's been a while since I left Nobody knows where I went But I think I found my place Don't worry, I'm doing just fine Out in the islands where the time goes A little more my pace I've been floating coast to coast Bahamas, Puerto Rico no nie wiem co panie tu robisz, ale ja ci pomogę, bo chyba pomyliły ci się drogi ty. Tutaj, tutaj powinieneś być, tutaj. Hi. Hello from Poland. This time I came to visit my parents. As we can see, they live in a really beautiful village and right now we have almost a sunset. My favorite time of the day, golden hour and we can see so many flowers and bugs. The first days when I came was very sunny, 27 degrees every day, so much sun and so many bugs around. But at night it was very cold, obviously, and I think I wasn't prepared for that. And I was very, very, very tired after it, my, my trip. I flew on Friday when it was this global thing that happened with Microsoft. I was one of the ones that actually got stuck on the airport for 11 hours. I had to get up at 4 a.m. to go to Malaga and I had my flight at 10 a.m. But at 8 a.m. I already knew that something is happening because they were all the time delaying the time, the gate the sh showing informations on on the board and they were adding 50 minutes half an hour and suddenly it got like four hours later and i already got angry and I, <laughs> oh my god i'm not prepared for that i i'm so tired i didn't sleep the whole night because all the time when you are stressed that maybe you will not wake up and you have to prepare everything before the flight and of course i have a kitten so i had to also take care of the stuff for the kitten and of course my cabin bag uh, broke so the same day I also had to go and look for a new bag and then on Friday I got stuck and then when we actually got to that plane the, <laughs> the pilot said that there's traffic in the sky my flight actually was at 6 p.m. so we had to wait one hour and 40 minutes to fly and I wanted to see a sunset but of course I couldn't because the people that bought places next to window they didn't want to have a window so they closed the window I have no idea why people do that maybe you just explain to me why would you do that do you have a beautiful sunset the most beautiful time of the day and you don't want to see it finally I got to my place four hours later my parents were already waiting for me and they I, I didn't take the picture from the, of this but it was so sweet of them they prepared for me my favorite Polish food it was like a Polish sausage with Polish pickles and bread this is the, what they know I love to receive as a welcome gift every time when I go to visit them of course I couldn't sleep because all the time I was thinking about my cat like how is she she's she's alone is she crying and what is she doing but I don't know my friend she's a really nice person and she is um, taking care of my cat every single day so I'm really really grateful for that and I will invite her for uh, Japanese food which we love we have a favorite restaurant so obviously because of that I got sick because my body is like oh, my body always tries to tell me this way like 
Paulina stop I got almost 38 degrees uh, temperature because my head was all the time <laughs> pulsing today is like the first day like first first day that I could go out and be happy and I got this sunset because it was raining yesterday and today as well which I was really happy because I love rain and I don't receive that much rain in Spain <laughs> And it starts raining, I guess, again, I don't know. You can see flowers, so many flowers, and you can breathe. And do you, uh, yeah, do you see the sky? I don't know if you see this. It has shapes, which for me is amazing, you know? Like, I don't remember seeing skies with so many shapes. It's beautiful, and it's also raining, so I have to protect my camera. I have to protect my camera. I would just cover it, maybe, maybe like this. Oh my God, it's also on the... Okay, I guess I'm okay. So today we decided to go to Starogard Gdańsk, which is pretty close to Gdańsk. And I went to Empik because Empik is, you know, it's like a shop where you have so many books. And I love coming back and to see Polish books because they are so beautifully designed. Like the edges have designs, colors, like something shiny that you just don't see that many books like in Spain. When I go to Spain, there are no books like that. I have no idea, but I think Polish editions have really beautiful designs. I really am so happy to say that out loud and congratulations uh, for the Polish publishers for taking care of so much the covers and edges. I bought one book but then I decided you know it's not in my native language and I really probably should buy more books because they are much more expensive when you go to Spain. They are not so cheap. So I bought three more and <laughs> now I have four books. Probably I will find more books to buy, I'm so sure. Oh my God, it's raining. I also read the first book in Spanish and I finished it like two weeks ago, which, which was called Nosotros en la Luna. I really love that book. Uh, in the beginning, I was overwhelmed because this is not my language and I live in Spain. I speak Spanish, but I wanted something more challenging because every day my conversations are mo more or less the same i use the same vocabulary and i really wanted to know more more words um, the structure as a sentence and i found i think the perfect book because i don't know i took that book and when i saw a story about that book you know the book tells about a girl after a really rough breakup with her boyfriend that she was for a long time she goes for a one night to to paris and then she met a guy which is not like a one place person he's like he doesn't want to be in one place he needs to be he needs to be challenged he wants to travel he doesn't like stability too much uh, he's a little crazy too much but well but then they find each other and the book is about their story through years it's not through males i found that actually in poland they will release that book in august now i want that book in polish as well like i want to read it i want to see the differences and i'm so happy and now it's raining like really raining but i'm not an umbrella person it's not rain you know <laughs> it needs to really rain to call it raining I really love that village. This is not my village from my other video that I showed. This is not my hometown because my parents now live in another place closer to the sea, which I really love the idea. I don't know, it's like closer for me to travel from Poland to, to Spain and from Spain to Poland because living in Granada is not that easy when you want to travel to another places.
and I'm not 20 anymore. I try to make my travel to the plane as short as possible to actually have the energy for the same day to still do something amazing. Obviously on Sunday we went with my parents to a flea market and as we already know I am a really huge enthusiast for typewriters and I've been since I was 13 years old since I had the first typewriter at my home and I bought a new typewriter. I don't have Remington, I didn't have Remington in my collection yet it's working it's perfect i cleaned it and i think i'm going to take it to spain i want to use it i want to just look at it for, for a few months and send virtual kisses every time when i think about it this typewriter was made in 1939 before the second world war in, and it was made in USA, sent to Holland, to Netherlands. It actually pains me to not knowing who might use this before me. I would love to know or find someday a hidden letter. That would be, that would be the most amazing thing that you can happen and to find. And maybe it could be a great book. I don't know, a story for a book. <laughs> this is probably it, so what I have to say on Wednesday. And, oh my God, the sunset is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see. 